Welcome back friends. Until now, I hope you have a basic idea on how to write a trigger. In this video, I'm going to show you how to write a trigger to update a custom field in account object. For example, here we have active field with a drop down which has yes or no option. So we will write a trigger to automatically mark this field as yes using trigger. So let's quickly go ahead and start writing our trigger. Alright for that let's go to setup and as we are gonna write this trigger on account object so let's get into account and then triggers and then here click on new enter a name for your trigger I'll type mark active it is optional so you can write anything and event should be before insert I'll go ahead and add for loop again because as I said in our previous video that for loop will be common and you have to write the similar kind of for loop in every trigger you're gonna write so for account a trigger dot new alright this time as we are writing this on account object so I entered account and assigned a variable a to it so now we need a custom field for active drop down so let's get into fields alright I'll open it in a new window right now alright here we have active custom field AP, API name is active underscore underscore C so I'll just go ahead and copy it right now and then paste it in my trigger and then equal sign we have to mark it yes in single quote All right, so let's now go ahead and save our trigger. As simple as that, just a just a three line of code. All right, let's see if our trigger is working perfectly fine or not. So I'll go ahead and click on new to create a new account. In the account name, I'll just add anything. Uh, I'll add C A R Z. And then I'll go ahead and try to save the record and see what happens. Alright guys, so we can see when I save the record, active is marked as yes automatically. So this trigger is working perfectly fine. So in our next video, we are going to see one more example for a trigger. 